When non-avian dinosaurs reached their peak of power during the Mesozoic, they were the unchallenged rulers of the Earth. They achieved great numbers and their reign stretched across the entire world, with some even making the polar regions their kingdoms so to speak. And generally, paleo media has only portrayed other dinosaurs as being real threats to themselves. However, during the dinosaur's heyday, there were still plenty of other animals that were dangerous to them, many of which have been dubbed dinosaur killers, like the Bezel Bufo, a giant frog that hailed from the late Cretaceous, and the Hatsigoptrix, an enormous pterosaur that could grow to reach the size of a small plane. And although it's quite likely that these two, among others, did occasionally hunt dinosaurs, it's not known for certain as no remains have ever provided direct evidence of them preying on or eating dinosaurs. And this applies to many of the claimed dinosaur killers. However, once in a blue moon, there is an extraordinary discovery, where direct evidence of an animal killing or eating a dinosaur is found, prompting many to consider it a confirmed dinosaur killer or eater. And this includes these four prehistoric creatures. The first animal on the list definitely fits the image of being a dino slayer, and to some may even look dinosaurish. But in reality, it was a crocodile form and roamed what is today Australia during the late Cretaceous. It was a decent sized reptile, measuring about 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet in length, making it about the same size as the average female American alligator. It was the Confractosuchus. It's the first of its kind to have direct evidence of eating dinosaurs, as within a specimen's stomach, the remains of a juvenile ornithopod was located. The unfortunate dinosaur was well preserved, indicating that the Confractosuchus probably died shortly after its kill. And even though this particular find involved the juvenile, many paleontologists believe that it was capable of going after other larger dinosaurs, as its skull was powerfully built and quite wide in comparison to the rest of its body. However, the one silver lining for the dinosaurs was that the Confractosuchus likely only hunted them when an opportunity presented itself, as opposed to being specialized in killing dinosaurs. Yet, this didn't stop the paleontologists who discovered it from giving it a name which translates to Broken Lizard Killer, a reference to the dinosaur found in its guts. Also, it should be noted that this discovery makes it more likely that other larger prehistoric crocodilians like Dinosuchus also hunted dinosaurs. Although, for now, the Confractosuchus is the only one that is confirmed to have been a dinosaur slayer. The next animal on the list was a dinosaur killer, just like the Confractosuchus, although much less assuming, as it was, of all things, a mammal. And this may be surprising, as some think that dinosaurs exclusively went after the limited mammals that were around during the Mesozoic. But as the Rapanomamus shows, the roles could be reversed. This was a badger-sized Gobi conodontid that hailed from prehistoric China and lived during the early Cretaceous period. It's an important mammal in many ways, as along with eating dinosaurs, it's also regarded by many as being the largest mammal to live during the Mesozoic era, weighing about 14 kilograms or 31 pounds. And this allowed it to go after dinosaurs, namely small ones like the Ceratopsian Cetacrosaurus, as one was located within the stomach of an adult Rapanomamus. This confirmed that some mammals did have a taste for dinosaurs. And actually, this was not the first time paleontologists had found evidence of a mammal going after a dinosaur, as another one, the Delta Theridium, has been known to attack small theropods, confirmed via bite marks. However, in that particular case, the dinosaur was able to get away, making the Rapenomamus the only mammal to have been found with a dinosaur in its stomach. And once in a while, an animal is confirmed to have been a dino killer without the need of a dinosaur being found in its stomach, as seen with the next creature on the lists, the Sanje, a late Cretaceous snake that slithered through the lands of what is today western India. It was a rather large snake, with estimates painting it to be around 3.5 meters or 11 feet in length. And as mentioned above, it was indeed a dinosaur killer, but this wasn't determined through its stomach contents, rather the peculiar scenario in which it was found, as it was lying in a dinosaur's nest, which contained multiple sauropod eggs and one hatchling, which most believed to have been a titanosaur. And within this nest, the paleontologist noted that the Sanjay was coiled around one of the eggs in a constrictive manner while facing the lone hatchling. All this together made paleontologists confident that it was a nest raider, and in this case, a dinosaur killer. 
Additionally, what's interesting about this Sanjay is that it could not gape its mouth wide like modern pythons. Therefore, its diet was limited and could explain why it liked to go after small hatchlings, whom it could still dispatch without having a larger gape. This made the Sanjay terrifying to dinosaurs, no doubt, but perhaps not as terrifying as the last animal on the list, a terror from the deep, the Cretexi rhina, a large mackerel shark that looked a lot like the modern Great White and could reach 24 feet or 7 meters in length. And not only was it large, but it also had razor-sharp teeth that were designed for slicing and stabbing through flesh. And it appears that some dinosaurs were victims to these quote-unquote knives. Truthfully, it's not actually known if it used its teeth on live dinosaurs, as some state that it only fed on dead ones that had drifted out to sea. But some think that the evidence for this shark attacking live dinosaurs is undeniable, as many dinosaur remains belonging to multiple species, including a hadrosaur and ankylosaur, have been found with bite marks matching the Cretoxyrhinus. And these dinosaurs are sometimes also found within the stomach of this prehistoric shark. It is currently believed that this ancient jaws would hunt by ramming animals at high speeds, inflicting such powerful and deep bites that would often incapacitate prey with just a single attack. And it's not the first shark that's been known to at least bite dinosaurs, be it alive or dead. However, what makes this case interesting is the sheer number of dinosaurs that have been found with bite marks, suggesting to some that it did occasionally attack live hadrosaurs and ankylosaurs as they waddled through shallow water along the coasts, or when they were migrating from island to island, as barrier islands did exist where these dinosaurs were located. All in all, dinosaurs were for sure the rulers of their times, but were by no means impervious as these four prehistoric animals have shown. And as time continues, surely more evidence will also be found that shows that dinosaurs did still have threats all around them that did not just come from their own.